I want you to notice uh, what is lost in sexual sin. Notice first the loss of mission. After this, he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek named Delilah, and the Lord of the Philistines came up to her and said to her, Seduce him. Use sex to get him defeated. See where his great strength lies, by what means we may overpower him, that we may bind him. We're going to humble him. We'll give you 1,100 pieces of silver. Delilah said to Samson, Tell me where your great strength lies, and how you might be bound. There was a Bible scholars believe that Samson actually was not a, a, a bodybuilder. He didn't look massive. This is why they're always like, how can this guy be so he would defeat whole armies? He was so strong. And wouldn't it just, we don't know for sure, but wouldn't it be just like the Lord to take some like, you know, five, seven, skinny little guy? And, and wouldn't that, how, how many people agree? Interpretation by voting. Would that be like the Lord? And I, think, I think he was just a regular, really regular guy. And like most regular guys, he thought he was more than he was. So here's this gorgeous woman, Delilah, and he can't figure out that she's attracted. He should have been going, what on earth is she attracted to me for? And how many men delude themselves about who they really are by gazing upon people that, that wouldn't give them a cup of coffee if they met him in person? Amen. You're just fooling yourself. And, and you're destroying your capacity to be satisfied in that gorgeous woman who is giving her life for you. For shame. For shame. So here goes Samson. And Delilah does this, watch, not once, not twice, three times, four times, same thing. What's the secret of your strength? He should have been like, why do you want to know that? But he had, so listen, he had something else on his mind. Got it? So she says, you got to tell me the secret of your strength. He tells her, then he gets what he wants. Everybody clear on that? Do I need to say any more? He gets what he wants, then he does what men often want to do after what they get what they want. He wants to what? He wants to sleep. So he goes to sleep, and then she says every time, the Philistines are upon you. And I'll just show you a couple of them here. Verse 6, so Delilah said to Samson, please tell me where your great strength lies and how you might be bound that one could subdue you. Samson said to her, if they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings that have not been dried, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. Then the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven fresh bowstrings that had not been dried. She bound him with them. Now she had men lying in ambush. Now how drunk with lust do you have to be to not know that you're in the room on a couch and behind the couch is an army? And she said, the Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he snapped the bowstrings as a thread of flax snaps when it's touched the fire. So the strength, secret of his strength was not known. Notice, drop down here, loss of mission, loss of loyalty, loss of common sense. The same thing happens again. This time he says, it's new ropes. The Philistines are upon you. He snapped the ropes off his arm like a thread. I mean, the clue phone is ringing off the hook for this guy. All right? Um, hello, hello. He can't get it. He's so consumed with lust. Delilah said to Samson, until now you've mocked me and told me lies. Tell me how you might be bound. He said, well, you got to weave my hair. There's little parts that are left out here as the Bible is delicate. So while he slept, got it, the part that was left out? Delilah took seven locks of his head, wove them into a web. She made them tight. Philistines are upon you. He wakes up, pulls the pen away. By this, just jot this down, consequences, now loss of fear. He should be terrified about the slope that he's going down. But what's interesting is the person caught in the web of sexual addiction, we've seen it so many times, they'll get to the edge of the cliff and you think they should be hitting the brakes and they don't. They hit the gas pedal and go right over. And that's what he's about to do. She said to him, how can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You've mocked me these three times. You've not told me where your great strength lies. She pressed him hard with her words day after day and urged him. His soul was vexed to death. 
And he told her all his heart. A razor has never come upon my head, for I've been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. Unbelievable that he told that family secret to this seductress. If my head is shaved, my strength will leave. I'll become weak like any other man. He knows the truth, but he sins against the light. Delilah saw that he had told her his heart. She sent and called the Lord. Come up. He's told me all that she knew. The lords of the Philistines came up. She made him sleep on her knees, part left out. She called a man and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Notice she began to torment him. How much? Did, hold up. How much did she care for Samson? Right? You idiot! You idiot! You fool! She starts to torment him. The Philistines are upon you. He awoke from sleep. I will go out, saddest verse in the Old Testament, I will go out as at other times and shake myself free, but he did not know that the Lord had left him. Didn't even know it. Sinned against his, and seared his conscience for so long. Jot it down, loss of God's favor. Loss of God's favor. The price that he's paying for a moment of pleasure. He has a wife at home. 